The sequencer section of the Phantom G is also incredibly versatile and huge. You've got 128 tracks of MIDI to start with, but in addition to that, you've got 24 tracks of audio. So you've got like a 24 track recorder studio like we used to have when we were little and we had to pay a lot of money for it, plus 128 tracks of MIDI. So what I'm gonna do very, very quickly is I'm gonna put together a little bit of music just to show you how fast and intuitive this is as a thing to do. So we've got a click. I've got my kick drum. I'm not that good a programmer, so I'm gonna do it bit by bit. Here we go. Good luck, studio. So that should loop. And it does. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Right. So to the next track, I'm going to put a bit of snare in here. Marvellous. Right. So the loop mode. Let's set that to there. Good. And then we're going to move on to the next track, which I want to be some hi-hats because... Why do it all in one go when you can do it in lots of little bits? Here we go. There we go. So, we've got something happening there. So, to this point, I think we should now add a bit of track. So, we've got some other sounds here. Got a bit of a bass line, so let's add that. Go back to song. Here we go. See, moving on, we're going to go back and find another sound here. Let's have uh, let's have a bit of an arpeggio. If you're not if you're not sort of that au fait with playing keyboards, you can just use arpeggios to kind of do the same effect. So you can get chords this way. So for example, we'll set that to arpeggio. See, add that. Hey, I'm winging it. All right. On to this, the next bit we're going to do, uh, let's add, oh, I like that, let's put that in. Here we go. Okay, so we're getting a track starting to come together here, but I think what we need to do is add a bit of audio. So if we scroll down to the audio section, this is again incredibly intuitive, you can just do it in a one -er. So I've got my tambourine. So again, if you go into audio mode and hit record ready, a set of meters will appear. So you can basically, it's a bit loud, so let's just turn that down a little bit. To Let's turn it down to absolutely deafening. Here we go. Right. And we have audio. It now says, do you want to assign that sample to a track because it's basically doing it as a sampler. So we say yes, and now you can hear. So now we have our track and it's starting to come together. As you can see here, we have the audio uh, of the tambourine, but well, another thing that's so brilliant with the mouse and with this big display, it, it's the intuitive way it works. It, it, you can literally just pick these things up and drag them around just as you would in a, in a DAW. So now that's not starting till then. But you can move it back to there, and then once you've done that, you can just copy them. Look at that, fantastic. So basically, as you can see, in the time it's taken me just to explain this, we're sort of getting a track together. So it really is an incredibly intuitive, quick, and easy procedure. It's brilliant.